Yeah. <laughs> I never understood why people did that shit. Oh, I don't need any help with this at all. <laughs> I'm already that way. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's <laughs> currently 9 55 and it is thursday august 2nd of 2018 um i want to talk to you guys about something and i'm not coming to you guys to blab i'm not coming to you guys to talk shit about them no damo and chrissy they broke up and they've apparently been broken up and i honestly do believe this breakup like some people are like oh it's fake Da, 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 da. Y'all need to humble yourselves, okay? Y'all need to humble yourselves. At the end of the day, they have a son. And no matter if the sparks weren't there or not, they have a son and they are mature enough to be friends after that. You know, like many relationships, you know, once someone breaks up with someone, you don't you don't just stay friends. No, that's not how it goes. But they have, you know, I'm not blaming their son or nothing. They have something special, y'all. Like, the friendship there is just... And if you're a real subscriber and you support them through everything, you will understand that this their breakup is real. That they've been going through counseling for years. A year, as they should say. That they've been trying to work things out. And no matter how hard they try... The relationship is just not there. And I... It's just... So understanding. Like, I am so understanding of what they're going through. I've been through it. And... When you're with someone that for that long, it hurts a lot. Like, I've been with this man for three years and five to six months, I think. Um, I know it's three years and just the other week, you know, I'm trying not to tell you guys everything, but just the other week, you know, we broke up for about two to three to four days and I realized how much I love him and how much I want him. My heart ached every night that we were broken up. I was not getting no sleep. And for anybody that wants to say a breakup is easy when you've been with a person for more than two to three years, it is never easy. And for all y'all that want to come at them wrong and talk shit about them and be naked. Sorry, y'all. I just dropped y'all. And be negative. Y'all need to go somewhere else with yourself. If you want to be negative, that's fine. But don't bring them down when they're already going through enough. They're going through a breakup. That's the worst thing. Like, it hurts a lot. And I understand. And that's why I'm so understanding. And more people need to be more understanding, more humble, more positive. Um, I love them. I love them both. Like, I love Chrissy. I love Domo. I love Dominic. I love all of them. They are, like, best friends to me. Like, they are my best friends. And I wish nothing but the best for all of them. And Domo's gonna, Dominic's gonna be happy either fucking way. Whether they're together or not, just realize that they are gonna, he's gonna be a happy little boy. And he's gonna be a spoiled little boy. And one thing I could say is them breaking up the way they did is the most mature thing I've ever seen. Most of the time when someone breaks up with someone, you know, they don't be friends. They don't do none of that. And I am so thankful for the time that we had with both of them. Um, 
it was just, it was beautiful. It was so beautiful, y'all. Like, I love them together, and I still love them, you know, even if they're not together. But anyways, y'all, I'm about to... Baby and I went shopping yesterday. I don't know if I could show y'all what we got, but I'll try. And I'm watching Chris, our Damo's uh, video of, you know, the breakup and shit. And let me tell you, when I tell you they are so mature about it. All right, so as you guys can see, we got some, I don't know if you guys can see. Um, we got some milk, we got some hot dogs, bacon, cheese, sour cream, eggs, um, and then we got some stuff in the freezer too, hold up. We got some chicken, we got some pork, and we got some more chicken. Is that, oh, and some hot wings, I forgot to show you guys the hot wings. Some hot wings right here. And then we got some some Mountain Dew and Diet Dr. Pepper. So yeah. We got a lot of stuff yesterday. It was like um seventy something dollars worth. And I still got some money left over that I'm gonna save for the end of the month when I run out of food. But yeah. But anyways, y'all, I'm about to just relax, and I will see you guys later. So, you guys, I just wanted to come down here and talk to you guys about the puppy situation and why I'm not doing it. As you guys know, I get SSI, and I only get a little bit a month, and it doesn't even last me a full month. Um, so, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to buy me food because at the end of the day, I got to take care of myself and stuff like that so i'd even comb my i think i combed my hair last night did i comb my hair last night i don't even know i took a i took a uh a, a cold shower because it was so hot y'all like in this in this home that it was so hot i was like okay i gotta take a shower but anyways what i was talking to you guys about is the fact of me getting a puppy um it's not gonna happen anytime soon um my man and I plan to have kids. I plan to get off my birth control when I, once I'm 25, which means we've been together for five years. So, um, hopefully that goes through well. And, um, I hope we last forever, dude. Like, I really do because we've, we've been through ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs together. Like, I never walk away. You know, I walk away for a little bit, but then I always come back. But as far as the dog situation, I do want a dog when I have, um, I want a palm. And as you guys know, palms aren't cheap. Um, but I do want one and just because I can't afford one, um, you know, um, doesn't mean I don't want one or that I don't love dogs in general because I do love them. They're just like humans. They understand you just like a human would. Um, but right now, I got to take care of myself. And when I went to my mom's, when Babe and I were on our rough spot last week, um, I was at 97 pounds, and that's not good for me. So I am also diabetic, so it's hard to gain weight as is with, you know, your sugars. But... Um, I need to start taking care of myself as far as gaining weight and just all of that. So I'm going to have to start buying food. And literally I was like, oh, I'm not going to buy food. I'm just going to save up for this dog. But at the same time, I got to be, I got to be realistic with everything. You know, I need food at the end of the day and that's never gonna change but yeah just a heads up y'all like once i turn 25 i'm going to be getting off my birth control and hopefully whatever happens happens me and my man already you know talked about that and the reason why i don't bring him on my vlogs is for one he doesn't like to be on camera for two it is very it is very okay for you to just 
not pers put your personal stuff online. Um, so, anyways, y'all, I will see you guys later. So, you guys, it's currently 10.51, and your girl is eating some cheesecake. Um, I bought this the other day. Um, not yesterday, but the other day when we went to King Supers. We've gone to King Supers twice this week, I think. So, yeah. But, anyways, y'all, um, one thing I want y'all to do is if you have someone you love, whether it's your mom, whether it's your boyfriend, whether it's your fiance, your husband, your sister, whoever it is that you have in your life, tell them you love them. And I'm not telling you to change who you are, but if you want something to work the way you want it to work and let them know that they love that you love them, make sure that you Every once in a while, just change. Every once in a while, just show them that you love them, okay? Show them that you care about them. Now, um, I'll be going to my mom's probably around the 27th, and I will be going there, and this is for my mom, um, because as you guys know, she's going through a hard divorce where the motherfucker is very abusive, mentally, physically, everything, and every time I'm there, he comes in, and I'm just like, oh, fuck. And she, everything changes when he comes in. If you guys don't know, he's a truck driver. And he only comes in maybe once or twice a month. And it just gets to the point where he's calling my mom a welfare whore, a bitch. Uh, she has um, herpes some sexual disease she slept with her lawyer like and it's all not true and if a man is telling you that and calling you that shit and downgrading you that much it ain't worth it so just remember know your worth and know who to care for and who not to because um i don't know if you guys know but at christmas eve of last year um the dog that my mo mom used to have attacked Fox, and it was very vicious. We had to take um, Fox to the emergency room and get him stitches and everything, and then we had to get rid of Bear. And we told him to take Bear with him since he was a truck driver so that maybe F Bear would have, you know, some kind of life to live since he was so young. And he didn't. He just cowered it out and just went on about his work, and we had to deal with both of them. Um, we tried to put them back together like two times, three times, and each time it just, they both, Bear just showed aggression. He had the blood that he had for that moment, and it fucked him up. And just so you guys know, like when I had to go put him down, I have a video on it on my YouTube channel if you want to go check it out. It's very sad. Um, I did not do that for, you know, attention. Or nothing like that. I just wanted you guys to know how it feels to put a dog down. And my mom didn't want to come with me. She just wanted to say goodbye. And then me take him. And put him down. And they basically told me that since he didn't have any wounds on him. Or anything like that. But Fox did. That he was not a candidate for adoption. He's just too aggressive. And um, one thing they told me is... If your dog starts showing aggression, it's going to start showing it around one years old. Or if they have something not right with them in the head. Um, we thought he was a purebred Labrador retriever or something like that. And to be honest, we think he was half pit, half um, lab. He wasn't full like we thought he was. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. And... Just cherish the times you have with whatever it may be, even if it's a plant. Like Just cherish the time you have with it because at any moment it can be taken away from you. Tomorrow is not promised. Just just love life, y'all. And that's one thing I've learned. Like, you know, uh, last week me and my man broke up. I packed my shit and I went to my mom's. And let me tell you, I was devastated, but... At, Last weekend, um, 
what I did was I came and saw him and we worked stuff out. We were broken for maybe two to three days. And that just made me realize how important he is. Um, if you guys don't know, when I found my mom, me and her were going at it. And me and him had been dating for four months. And I finally just told him, hey, you know, I'm going to have to move in with you because me and my mom are going at it. And it's just, it's not good. And so he let me move in with him. He pays the bills. And I'm being straight up with you guys. Please don't judge me. Um, I do pay some rent. And I pay for food and stuff like that. So, but he has done so much for me. Every time I cry, he's there. You know, like, y'all need to look at the important things about somebody. Don't look at the flaws of somebody, okay? Um, and at the end of the, you know, when we were broken up, I realized I needed to change some stuff about me. Because I keep on pushing people away. I keep doing all that stuff when it isn't even worth it why push someone away that actually cares about you and people kept telling me he doesn't give a fuck about you he's using you da 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 if he was using me if he was if he didn't care about me he wouldn't of every time i left you know or said we were done he wouldn't have come back and said you're my family you know at the end of the day, it's the little things that matter. And tomorrow's not promised, y'all. So just love life. Stop. You know, I need to be more humble about myself. There's a lot of things that I need to change about myself. And I'm going to be doing that throughout, you know, like people tell people never change. Don't ever change for nobody. But at the same time, in order to grow... And make sure things work out that you love and care about. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta do more. You know? But anyways, I will see you guys later. So you guys, it is currently 3.41 and I'm about to end the vlog here. Babe's probably gonna be home here in a few, but this is what I'm wearing. Just something simple. I still got stuff to put away from what happened last week. But, you know, it is what it is. But I'm just relaxing. And I'm going to end the vlog here. And then I'm going to put this vlog up for y'all. I know I've been procrastinating. And I'm sorry. But anyways, I will see you guys on the next vlog. Bye, y'all. So, you guys, it is currently 9.49. And it's Friday, August 3rd. And I just went and smoked. And I don't know why I'm wearing my hat because it's cloudy outside but you know I have this on and I am completely stoned it is okay I am not selling anything on here so YouTube don't be bullshitting because I'm not selling anything I'm not saying go buy this no I'm just saying I smoked and now I'm good but I am about to try to eat something um probably cook i don't know i i've been cooking for the past week so t kudos to me because i never cook but babe and i got hot wings or i got hot wings last night for him and i and some food from king supers and stuff like that so we have some food in the house so now i can eat whenever i like but anyways, I will see you guys later. So you guys, it is currently 10.15. And I just realized I need to do the socks. I need to do the white socks. Or oh, we're not going to have socks. So I need to do that real quick. I'm procrastinating. And I'm just like, okay, stop. Stop right there. You need to do something about this. So I'm about to go do it. This is what happens every time I smoke. I forget shit. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. So you guys, it's currently 1026. And I am currently doing laundry. I got right on it. Put a load in. Can wait for that. Put it in the dryer. Do another load. Like, it's gonna be late in this motherfucker. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, y'all. I am fucked up. And maybe I should put this on my smoking channel. Um, high as fuck vlog or something like that. 
just to see how I am when I, who I am when I smoke vlog. Like y'all, if I, if you want to see it on my smoking channel, I'll just put it there for you guys to see. And you guys will see how I am when I smoke. I'm all over the place. And sometimes I'll be lazy and then sometimes I'll get the urge to clean, you know? So that's just me. I don't know about y'all, but if you want to comment down below and let me know what y'all do when you smoke. Um, like, how do you change from one person to another, pretty much? And I'm a happy, happy person when I'm high, so, and I really don't give a fuck, so it's a great attitude. So I'm good, you know, all, but, um, I may put this on my smoking channel because I haven't, I haven't done a smoking, uh, video in a while. I've been having some rough times and stuff, so I hope you guys understand that and, uh, we'll move forward from it and we'll do better. So I think I'll just put this vlog for that too, just so you guys can see how I am when I smoke weed. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. So you guys, it is currently 10.56 and I just made some hot dogs and don't judge me y'all. I got hungry, really hungry, so I'm about to eat all of this and hopefully I could eat all of it because I like to eat throughout the day and stuff. But your girl needs to gain some weight, so yeah, I'll see you guys later. So you guys, I am currently laying down. It is currently 11.42, and I did eat all of my hot dogs that I made earlier. Um, and now I'm just laying down, looking at stuff on Amazon, and that's about it. But about when I do get my stuff from eBay um, for my smoking channel, I have two things to unbox. I know it's not much, but a video is a video. So, yeah. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. So you guys, it's currently 12.57. And I just got some meat that's in this thing right here. And I seasoned all of it, so I'll be cutting it in little squares. And I'm just going to put it in the fridge for an hour or so. Clean up my station after doing it, so. But, um, because as you guys know, meat, you know, raw meat is dangerous, so. I'm going to put this in the fridge and I'm going to let it um, season with all the spices and stuff for a couple of hours and then I will get the cutting board, chop it up in little slices, and probably maybe like a burrito because it's at cheese and sour cream, a steak burrito. <sighs> but anyways y'all, I'm about to just lay down for a few and just relax. I'm doing laundry too as we speak. I had cleaned the kitchen in the living room yesterday. Um, the only thing I have to do before they get home is the bathroom. So I need to clean the bathroom. But other than that, I've done everything I'm supposed to do. Oh, shit. Uh, let me... These right here, I would recommend. They're very expensive for, like, vitamins. And Medicaid doesn't cover vitamins. So... Vitamin C gummies, it's supposed to 200 milligram vitamin C per serving, immune support, and dietary supplement, natural orange flavor with other natural flavors. And it says directions, adults, two, two gummies per day, two completely before swallowing. So this is vitamin C, so this is to help your immune system so you don't get sick. Um, I take this very often because I've been really sick before. I've had cancer, so anything to keep my immune system up and to make sure I don't get sick ever again, I will take it. But anyways, I will see you guys later. So you guys, it is currently 1.55 and y'all, look at this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is raining now. It is raining y'all. Hold up, let me see. I'm just gonna do this for y'all. Let's do this. So it is currently raining. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Look, you can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it. 
Chica's like, why the hell you have me out here looking all crazy? But yeah, see? Raining and shit. What the hell? Like I swear, just a while ago, it was okay weather, but it was kind of foggy, you know, like kind of cloudy. So I kind of knew there's rain going to come. Rain going to come our way. I still got to fold this laundry right here, and I still got to do, I still got to take a shower because I did smoke a little bit. I made sure that nothing was by the outlets, like um, any devices like this one. Um, I just made sure devices weren't there close to the thing because we had to seal that off. We need to get some more um, tape, but it is what it is. But I'm about to take a shower here in a little bit. What the hell, y'all? Somebody just call me, congratulate me. Either I get a somebody calling me about a loan for college or something like that. And I'm just like, does it look like I want a loan? But anyways, that's life, y'all. But I'm about to take a shower and just see what and go from there. So you guys, I'm about to chop up this meat. Um, if you don't like looking at raw meats, don't look at this. But I just I seasoned them so they're well seasoned, and I'm about to just chop it up, put it in the pan, and just make um. Cause I already had hot dogs earlier and if you guys don't know like I literally like if I'm if I've been smoking I will eat a lot and it's just me and I just gotta I gotta calm down y'all because I don't have the money to be doing all that you know I don't have the money to be buying groceries three times a week you know so either way I gotta do something sooner or later about this appetite but it's only when I smoke when I get the real good appetite so if you guys know about that let me know in the comments down below and I'm talking about smoking weed I'm not talking about doing anything else acids shrooms I don't do none of that I don't do meth I don't do coke I don't do none of that and there's a lot of people that come to me talking about she look like a meth head like if you are a decent person, you don't say that shit to people. That's disrespectful. I have never done any kind of, the most I've done is, um, I don't even drink half the time. So the most I've done is smoke a cigarette and smoke weed. That's all I've done my whole life, pretty much. And I used to be against smoking weed. I used to not do nothing, you know, I used to be clean as a bird. But, you know, I realized that, you know, weed does help me in certain areas, you know, with my appetite, it helps me with that. So I can eat and it helps. Um, I get a little paranoid when I smoke, though. That's the only bad thing about it. I get a little paranoid, but um helps me with my appetite. It helps me with my pain. It helps me. Um, get some shit done. Sativa mostly helps me get some shit done. Like cleaning and shit. I'd be on a cleaning. I was on a cleaning mode yesterday. Clean the kitchen. And now I'm going to have to clean it again because I'm cooking. But clean the kitchen yesterday. I cleaned the living room. And so I'm looking forward to doing the bathroom here in a little bit. I just got to cook this meat and get to get this done. And then I'll be on my way to the bathroom. Because if you guys don't know, the most dirty places is your kitchen and your bathroom. That's the most dirty places. In my opinion, those are the dirtiest places you can ever, um, you know, look for germs for. So, those are some dirty ass places. So, make sure you clean your bathroom. Make sure you clean your, your kitchen when you can. Um, and if you do it every day, you won't have as much dishes. You won't have much to do. Now, the bathroom you can do once a week. Depending if you want to do it more than that, you can do it once a week. And it'll be fine. Um, but 
I, I've cleaned this damn kitchen like four to five times this week. And it's only Friday. Like, that's what you should be on because when I have my kids, I don't want them getting sick. Um, you know, I don't want them getting sick easily. And it'd be my fault that they're getting sick, you know? So after I'm done with this meat, you know, after I'm done chopping this meat, I will be bleaching the countertops. Like, I will be doing all that and cleaning up everything. So, that's just how I am. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys in a few. So, you guys, it is currently 2.32 and I just took a shower and I'm wearing this little dress. Um, I was listening to some music with the speakers. Um, so I still got laundry to do, but at least I took my shower. So now if I want to relax and then cook, later on I can, whatever. I had to put the meat that I sliced up back in the container, put it back in the fridge so I could take a shower because I needed to take a shower. But anyways, um, I'm going to end the vlog here. If you guys like the vlog, give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe down below and I will see you guys on the next vlog. Bye y'all. So you guys, it is currently 7.42 at night and it is Saturday, August 4th. And I wanted to come on here and tell you guys about what happened earlier today. Um, it caused me to smoke because I was stressed as hell. But um, my sister posted on her Facebook that um, somebody told her that he may, my dad may pass. He's still kicking it, y'all. So, I thought she was saying in her post that he was dead, babe, pretty much. So, I called the nursing home that he's in, and they basically said he's doing okay, but he's in and out. He's more foggy and stuff, and more, you know, in and out. So, um, just keep him in your prayers, y'all, and keep us in our prayers. Hopefully everybody lets us know when he actually does pass so that we can be there for his, you know, his uh, burial. We got some ash necklaces that we're going to get. Um, I prefer that me and my sister and my mom have it, no one else. Um, so since, you know, that's my mom's baby daddy pretty much. And then, you know, that's me and my sister and my little sister's dad. So the other ones have different dads of my mom's kids. So. But anyways, y'all, I'm about to clip this on here. I gotta defrost it first, though. But I usually don't vlog on a Saturday or Sunday. So, yeah. But anyways, I will see you guys on Monday. So, you guys, it's currently 1.33 and it is Sunday, August 5th, 2.18. I usually don't um, vlog on Saturdays and Sundays, but I just wanted to open this box with you guys and see what's in here. So I got this blade right here, and I'm just trying to make sure you guys don't see my address. Oh god, this is going to be a That's just a barcode, okay. I end up cutting myself today though. Okay. So let me put that back where it needs to be because if I cut myself, it's not gonna be good. So here's the box. I don't want to show you guys the address. And here's the stuff out of this empty box. I don't know if you guys can read that, but you probably can see what it's here. I might save the box because I have smoking supplies coming in. And I'll put that on my smoking panel. But let's open this up. Wow. I like to save the bubbles too, so I like how it came in this package. Let's see how this goes. So we have two foundations that are um, 
gooey and smooth, normal to dry, and where does it say? 110 porcelain. I don't know if you guys can see that. It says 110 porcelain, or we could just do it that way. So I had two foundations. Let me see how it looks on my hand here. I got a little bit here. Okay. It's a little bit light, but I think it'll do. I don't know if you guys can see that. No, because there's bad lighting. Sorry about the lighting, y'all, but I just spread it right there. And I think it'll do good for me because I have, um, I have pretty dry skin. I don't have bad skin, but anyways, this is what I got. I need to upload this vlog, but first I got to upload some stuff on another channel just to make sure everything's there. Then I could delete some videos on my phone and yeah, so that's what I got, but anyways. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.